Hello, Lola. So welcome back to my channel, guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you join the chat box by clicking the link in the description bar. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents to join, and you do have to be at least eighteen years old to join because that's the kind of fun we have. But anyway, um, I am here to show you guys India. India is my only toddler. She will probably be always be my only toddler. I don't know, but um. She is, like right now, I think that's a nine month outfit that she has on. So she's a pretty small toddler, not a huge toddler. But um, I didn't get, get her dressed on camera, but I did feel like I wanted to show her. And I know she may sh show a little bit more shiny than what she is. She does have a sheen to her, but not extremely shiny. Um, more of a natural skin. Um, texture and look in person um, I have taken her out and she was not even questioned and that's with her eyes open um, so um, her skin tone is is fairly decent I think I think um, actually is pretty good <laughs> I'm always uh, shading my own self um, but um, if I make it to the doll show, which I plan to, I will, um, probably bring her, um, which I think will be fun. I will try to bring her if I can maybe have a double stroller or something like that. And that way she'll always be with me and a display baby. So I just sew her hair. She has human hair and so her hair doesn't like it totally a mess I just took and put little twists in it which um I used to do my girls hair like this and um when they were younger um my my grown daughters they were it was three of them and they have very long hair very thick hair like this and um in fact my oldest hair texture was probably very close to this the other two girls' hair was a little bit thicker than hers, but nevertheless, um, they I used to sit down. I used to actually do them smaller than this, and I used to take all these tons of, because I can't do hair, so I would take and put little rubber bands, and let me show you guys. I used to take little rubber bands, and part I would part it off, and I would put like a ton of these. And when we would go to like birthday parties or my neighbors events and stuff, people would always say those are the so and so. We would say our last name, um, and are the you know or their dad name. Those are their girls. And they'll as some people will say, who is the girls that's dressed alike? And I'll be like, oh, you know that so and so girls because I always dressed them like twins, even though they were all not they were singlets. <laughs> all three of them but I would do that and I would do their whole head and twist it and they would have a whole bunch of these and that gave me freedom for a whole week and it would take me hours to do it which my daughter actually reminded me that in a card that she got me for Valentine's Day and I and it just and I guess it's fresh on my brain that's why I brought it up but um yeah, so I really, this is familiar to me, and I thought, you know what, Gabby had some twists in her head, but I paid a lot of money for her to get her hair done like that. I'm actually going to wash Gabby's hair, and I'm going to see if I can do hers the same. I had kind of stopped because I started getting carpal tunnel in my wrist as my kids got a little older, and I had to kind of stop doing it so much and so small, but I'm going to try to do it with Gabby and see if I can save myself some money because the last time I paid about $60 just to have her hair braided to the side and then twist the little twist. I can't braid neat enough for the braids but I'm going to try to do her hair like I used to do the older girls. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know, I got lost in that story. But um, so yeah, so she's a big girl and say look there. I don't know if you guys see she's a big she's a big girl I don't I gotta you know start getting her in videos but I gotta I gotta start buying stuff that actually 
you know, props and places to sit her and figure out how to display her. I mean, I, I do hold her, but it's like usually the little babies I hold and feed. So, you know, I got to figure out interactive videos for her. But, um, like I said, I, I've never been in, in awe of a baby so much. And especially, you know, my own work. And um, somebody in the comment section said before, I think it was Tracy, Tracy said um, she can't wait till she can love her own work. And I remember me saying that all the time. And if some of you guys that follow me a long time, I used to say that all the time. Like, you know, I just want to get to a stage where I feel like my work is good enough. And um, compared to what I collect, because... I had been, at that point when I started painting, I had been collecting from, you know, some of the best artists and, you know, um, my work, of course, wasn't there and um, I wasn't selling my work at the time. I was just, you know, practicing and now, you know, I'm to a point where I actually really love my work and sometimes I actually prefer my own work and I thought I'd never get to that, that phase. So... Her little, that's her little piggies. Um, so now I actually feel good about it. So my, my reason for saying that is to tell, you know, those of you out there that feel like, you know, you want to get there. If it's in you and you have that, that gift inside you and that's your thing. Because everybody have a gift and it, even though we might want a specific gift, like I want to be able to be a singer. I want to sing like Whitney Houston, but my vocals just ain't going to happen. So you know, as much as I want it, it just ain't going to happen. So I can't tell everybody that, oh yeah, you're going to be painting like Picasso when really it's just not in you. But if it's in you and you keep practicing and you want it bad enough, I believe that you can, that you can, you can, you can achieve it. So, you know, but you know, someone asked me the other day also, is it hard to paint? And I, that's a hard, that's kind of a tricky question. It's like, it may come easy to more easier to some than others and um you know but you won't know until you try so um that's all I have to say about that so um yeah but anyway so India like I said she this outfit used to be Lizzie <laughs> my Gabigail by Claire Tellum um the silicone one I used to put this on her and I've had it hanging up in the closet for a while. And I said, you know what? I'm going to see if she can fit those. And the pants, like I said, fit her like perfect. I mean, they fit her like really fitted in the, the, the waist area. And I think, let me show you. And I think that is perfect. So she actually looks really cute with them. I actually, oh, you know what? I have some sandals. Although... It's not completely sandal weather. I'm going to see if she can fit these sandals. You know, people, when the sculptors make these toddlers, they make them, but their feet aren't, like, extremely huge. So, sometimes, their little feet can fit into smaller shoes. Now, I have one of the sandals. Let me just see before I go digging for the other one. And this says it's a zero to three sandal. So let's see. I know some of y'all like, girl, girl. I don't know how to put on shoes on my dolls. Don't judge me. Okay, and I'm trying to do it sideways. Let's see. Well, I don't know why it's not really going because technically it's not too small. Because I don't know, child. Who done told me to try to put... Child, don't ask me to put your kids on no 
Oh, I don't want to get in this camera because I ain't got my wig on, honey, and the hair just standing up. But this is, okay, here we go, here we go. I don't know, I don't think I should be forcing this. Okay, but anyway, I really feel like she should be able to fit this. Because her feet, her toes is not even all the way to the thing. So I don't know why she can't fit it, but she can't. And I don't want to force it. Let me check her paint. <laughs> Girl, listen, I've been rubbed off a whole... Oh, y'all couldn't see anyway. But I was struggling. But they, they... Like I said, they didn't look... They look like they would fit. But maybe off camera, I can get it to work. Jesus! Okay, I got some more sandals. How about these? These are says 9 to 12 months. And I'm so stupid, I bought these twice. So, I have two pairs of these, I think. So, let's see if these work better. Yep, now these work. I don't know, you guys can see that? Let me see if you guys. Hello, shoe. Okay. So, those actually fit. Let me see anything else. Those fit perfect, actually. Yep. So, I might just put her uh, the other one on. They're closed in at the foot part, so that's nice. So, yeah. So, whoop day it is. Um... She can fit these. These are 9 to 12 month Carter shoes, uh, sandals. And they actually fit her perfectly. So, and they're brown and she has brown goes with her outfit. And they look a little Indian style, which I think this outfit, I don't know why I think it's Indian style. I think she's she looks a little Indian to me. Like a little black Indian girl. So, I am, oh, and I'm also going to look for her armature so she can stand. So, I am going to try to do that. So, next time you guys see her so she can stand without support. And I'm going to change her weighting so she's a little less floppy as well. She's going to grow up, guys, basically. Right, India Pool? She's going to grow up. But yeah, that's my girl. Um, <laughs> so she's like, me, who want peanut butter and jelly? Me, who got the best mommy in the world? Me, who got the best aunties in the world? Me. <laughs> she's so sweet. Okay, let me zoom in so y'all can see her little. Those eyes, though. Let me show y'all. Her eyes is everything. She's so cute. Say, I'm so cute. And she does have a pacifier. Um, a magnet. Believe it or not, as big as she is, she does have a magnet for a pacifier. And she can't take a modifier. That's a really little pacifier. Basically, I remember Gabby was about this big and had this pacifier. This is actually Gabby's pacifier. And she was sucking that little thing that they give you from the hospital. And I was like, girl. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So she's, she's a cutie patootie. I, I've seen babies in the Walmart that be like five years old, feet dragging the floor in a, in a stroller. And they got a pacifier in their mouth. I'd be like, want to say, um, mommy, it's time for you to let it go take the baby off the pacifier but you know hey sometimes i'll be like why is that 10 year old in that stroller feet black as you know midnight y'all ain't got him on no shoes he dragging feet dragging the floor he can get up and walk you know even gabby she's six years old and she'll be like mommy i want to get in a stroller uh no you're lazy but don't you will be walking hello <laughs> so anyway Thanks guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed Baby India and we'll see you in the next video.